So, atheist or agnostic? Uh, atheist. So, there's no chance? Well, I mean, I suppose it's agnostic atheist, but... Okay. <laughs> so you're saying we got a chance, right? <laughs> I, I think here's what's crazy. I'm not saying for you. This is my experience. Yeah. Most atheists or agnostics, mm. base their perspective on God based on their experience with man. You yeah. actually don't have like courage. I, you know, I can I can show you like five different bikes, or I can just ask you a bunch of questions and like narrow it down. I believe we prayed for His name. And that by the time he gets his bike, his knee's going to feel better. I just, God send this one. I don't have that one built at the moment, but we'll have one in the back and we'll just have it built for you. Right. Good bike? Yeah. How'd your knee feel? Great, actually. <laughs> it, it's weird. This is all <laughs> weird, actually. It, it's pretty uh, a strange experience considering it, it's just... The, the, the accident happened like maybe three, four days ago, I think. Mm -hmm. And then a few days later, I'm getting stopped by guys who were willing to give me a new bike because my other one's wrecked. I, I don't know. It, I appreciate all, all of it. This is, okay, here's the visual, okay? Yeah. An atheist is here. God is here, and you're like, no way, man. I'm on this side. Yeah. Okay? An agnostic is, you're just sitting on the fence. You can get shoved this way or you can get shoved this way, but you're here because you think there's a chance either way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But at one point, you were actually on this side. But because of humanity and man, you're like, well, I'm here or maybe I'm over here. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Okay, so what's that mean to you? What's it mean to me? Yeah. I've messed up, but at the same point in time, everybody's messed up. Everybody. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. So, if everybody sins, it's a fair statement to say everybody's going to die. You agree? Yeah. And that while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. What I love about this is I think from an agnostic or atheist view, sometimes we think that God is so far away that there's no way tangibly he loves us. Yeah. He just showed up in your face, man, and just said, no, I love you. Here's what's really cool. The way he really shows everybody he loves us is he gave us his son, Jesus. By grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. So, through faith. Through faith. When you have faith that Jesus died for us, it has nothing to do with us. I promise you, no offense to you, you did nothing to earn an orange bike. Yeah, I can't agree with that. You were just walking. Yeah. But the gift just showed up. It's exactly what he's done for us. Yeah. So sin, death, love, and faith. Got it. Perfect. This makes sense? Yeah. This is strange. That is that if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. <laughs> you know what that means. Yeah. What does it mean? It means just believing. What, what are you believing? What does it say? Believing that he gave up his son for us. Yeah. Believing that believing that if we believe it, if we can say it and, and are lying to ourselves or lying to anybody else, then that's what the salvation comes from. Yeah. And so your green word is life. Life. You get life. When you receive the gift by faith and you say, Jesus, I want you to be in charge of my life. Not, not just on Sundays, not just on Wednesdays. Like the Russian Jew goes, it's Monday. Why are you doing this today? Because to me, it's every day. Yeah. And no longer does it become a ritual, it becomes a relationship. I think that's how you get off the fence. And I actually think, strangely enough, you're off the fence.
<laughs> I do. And you know what I love is you're at the orange. It's not on your wristband. I think it's the coolest picture <laughs> that you get in an orange bite. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now watch, watch what the orange is. Okay, now watch. The Bible says this. If, if, if you become, Tony is in Christ. It says he's a new creature. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. Literally, Tony starts over. Your bike is a symbol of your life starting over. Not because of Tony, but because of Christ. And here's the craziest thing. He says, and I will give you the Holy Spirit to help you. I'll comfort you. I'll help you. I'll teach you. But you can't do it on your own. That make sense? Yeah. But it has to start. And just so you know, this, sim- this rain here, it's for you. Because when, when life starts, it's got to be watered. I feel, this is all, I, I, like I said, I don't really believe in coincidence or luck. <laughs> this is all kind of like, I don't know. I, I don't want to say falling to place because it seems like cliche or lame to say that, but it just does feel that way. I gotta ask. I'm just gonna ask. I don't care. Yeah. And I need you to do me a visual. Yeah. Agnostics on that side. Atheists is there. Sorry. Atheists is on that side. Agnostics on the fence. And then a person who says, I want that gift. I want new life is on this side. Go show me where you're at. Just from today. I want you to be honest. You don't have to do it for my sake. I just want to hear where you, you you've heard all this. Yeah. Where do you think you're at? Don't tell me, I want you to go show me.